welcome back to a, I was going to say another Meals of the Week, but it's not. This is my very first um, grocery haul, food shop haul, what I bought for dinners this week, whatever you want to call it, type video. It's a little bit different from what you would normally see because we don't do very many supermarket shops. We're really trying not to. We did an Asda shop about 10 days ago, so we don't need any store cupboard foods, anything for the pantry. We've got lots of pasta, beans, rice, those sorts of things. But we did need fresh food and the odd bit, the odd little thing which we can get in our little town. We are, well, I think we're really lucky. I live in a little town in Northumberland, just outside the little town centre, and it has a marketplace. We have butchers, we have bakers, we have a deli, we have all sorts of different things, bookshops and sweet shops and um, there are some regular shops you might find, there's an Iceland and there's supermarkets and things as well, but we really try to, especially at the moment, support the local economy and shop local when we can. Sometimes it costs a tiny little bit more, but not really that much, because if I go into a supermarket, there's that middle aisle in Aldi and that catches my eye and I buy things from there or there's the clothing section in Asda or Tesco's. So you always spend, end up spending a little bit more. If the farmer's market's not on, it's just a regular fruit and veg market, the plant stall, etc., the fish and meat stand, then I don't spend anything extra. I go to the shops I need to go to, get what I want. The only thing you won't see in our videos is milk. We get a milk delivery from the local milkman. He brings butter and milk. I think we get three two-litre bottles on a Tuesday and two two-litre bottles on a Saturday. On a Saturday and milk and um, not milk and butter on a Saturday. I think I can't quite remember, but I think that's what we get. Um, and then if we want anything extra, they do bread and orange juice and yogurt and different things like that. And we. Um, yeah, and we get a veg box. We get a veg delivery box from a local organic farm just down the road. Amazing. And also in season and it's fresh. It's not travelled anywhere. It's brilliant. It's really, really lovely. So um, here we go. So I'm going to start off with the fresh fruit and veg. We get, as I mentioned, we get a veg fruit and veg box from the local farmer's market not farmer's market, from the farm. It's an organic farm and it's maybe about five miles away, six miles away, something like that. It might be a little further so it doesn't have to travel any far. It's really fresh and it's all grown locally. No pesticides, nothing at all, it's completely organic and it's delicious. I mean, look at the colour of all of that. This side here is the veg box. And this little bit here is what I picked up to supplement it from the market. We're really lucky. We live in a little market town and the market is on four times a week. The fruit and veg stall that is, but they're excellent. So we've got these amazing tomatoes. These are in the veg box. Look at those. So we are definitely having lots of salads this week. And we're going to have some jacket potatoes as well, so that'll go with it. Pasta bake and a quiche, so all of these things will go nicely on the side. We've got some white and red spring onions, some mixed leaves, onions, potatoes. I'm going to do some Hasselback potatoes tomorrow with some sausages that I've got, so they'll go with that one. Some apples and a cucumber, some amazing carrots, and everything is picked, or sorry to say, harvested the day it arrives. This arrived yesterday, and it's all picked yesterday. This is a, um, like a, a gherkin, I think, and a cucumber, and I've got a couple of round courgettes there, which will go in soup. Got some plums, white plums, and avocado, and I have no idea what this guy is. If any can you see that if anybody knows what this is, I would love to know. I'm gonna keep researching and try and find out what I think it might be from the squash family or it might be a fruit. No idea. We've got some radishes in there and some more 
beetroot. We also, we've been getting beetroot a lot since season. I will pickle this. I'll cook it for an hour in foil, peel it, slice it and pickle it and it'll be ready in a week. We've got some uh, celery, fresh celery, and I'll use the leaves in the salad and the celery will go into soups for lunch. We've got some um, rhubarb, much to my husband's delight. I'm not that keen on rhubarb but I'll make a crumble with it. And we've got some rainbow chard. This is the best rainbow chard. This was picked fresh yesterday again. I will cut the stalks off and I'll put them in a little ceramic dish, cover them with a little bit of local hard cheese, a little bit of olive oil and just bake them in the oven. And these will go into salads and into soups and different things for tea. We've got some leeks, we're going to have leek and potato soup. And we've got a green cabbage as well and that'll go into soup as well. I'm going to make, I'm going to make a soup. I'm going to make some spring rolls. We're having chicken curry, uh, Chinese chicken curry and spring rolls. So the cabbage will go into the spring rolls. And all of this veg will just get consumed into our meals for the week. I'm going to make some burgers. So we'll have a lovely side salad with those. I'm going to make bean burgers. And I've bought meat burgers, we'll see. And then this side is from the farmer's market. And we've got some Maris Piper potatoes. I'm going to make some gnocchi. And they use those ones for that. And we've got some strawberries and some raspberries. They'll go on breakfasts, on granola and uh, cereal or just for the children as a snack. We've got some British cherries. They look delicious. They are huge. And they'll just be for a snack in the evening while I'm going to be something bad. Um, some scotch bonnet peppers. They had those. Um, so I, They always have the odd thing that's a little bit different. I'm going to put some of those in the black bean burgers. The peppers, they'll go into with the gnocchi and with the curry tonight. And we're going to make a pasta bake as well, so they'll be used for that. We've got two large bulbs of garlic, some baking potatoes, we're going to have jacket potatoes during the week, and bananas, and some mushrooms, and they'll go in the curry tonight as well. So the veg box is £35 and I spent uh, £16 at the market today. Oh, that was quite good. So all north, £51 for all of our delicious fresh fruit and veg. And here we have the other few things that I picked up. Like I said, we've got lots and lots of um, tinned food and packets and the pantry's full so I just picked up one I needed that I knew I would need this week because we're not doing a supermarket shop. So we used the local butcher. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the bag just because it's meat. I don't want to contaminate the table. In there is two diced chicken breasts, um, about eight thin pork sausages and four beef burgers. The chicken is for uh, the Chinese curry tonight, sausages for tomorrow and the burgers for either Monday or Tuesday, whichever I decide. Plain flour, ran out of plain flour, always need flour. Some eggs, I will use that, the eggs for possibly to bind the black bean burger, um, but also my husband and children will have them for lunches and breakfast. Some brown sugar, ran out of sugar completely, I do like, like to use light brown sugar. Um, yogurts for breakfast. They didn't have any large tubs of yogurts, we've just got two little ones to last us. We, like I said, we get a milkman, so I'll order some yogurt from the milkman. Some more um, stock pots and some cheese. This is True Grit Cheddar from Lancashire, I believe. It is a delicious cheddar. Um, for, I'm going to make a quiche, so I'll use that in the quiche, it'll be lovely. And this is the Doddington hard cheese that I use in place of parmesan, it's a local cheese, really good. Some mozzarella for our pasta bake, some double cream for the leek and potato soup, I'll only use about 50ml of it, and then I'll use a little bit in the quiche possibly, and if I make, well I will do, when I make rhubarb crumble my husband can have some cream with it, some fine sea salt just for in cooking, pasta, etc. Uh, two big bags of oats. Um, for granola, I'm going to make some granola for breakfasts and for um, some little oat cups with yoghurt and fruit in. I saw Stacey Solomon do it on Instagram and I've looked them up, they look really good. Um, and some coffee. 
this coffee isn't the cheapest. It was, it's about £10, £12 for 500 grams. But these are beans and it will last us um, about three weeks, I think, just because just me and my husband. We don't drink a great deal, but it's delicious. It's from the Borough Market, I believe. It's just a little company. And sorry, these few things here are just from our deli, from our local deli. I love using it. They are so friendly. They'll give you recommendations. They get things in if you need extra things. Um, the customer requests. They sell lots and lots of local food. Absolutely love it. Um, I spent £35, I think, at the deli. The meat, by the way, that was £9.50 um, from the local butcher. The oats were £1.50 each. Those bags of oats, I believe. Uh, or might be £1.25. And they were just from a local shop next to the market that I use for grains and things and spices. And then we have the treats that we bought, that I bought from the farmer's market. We have a farmer's market on twice a month, I think, and it's lovely. This bread smells amazing. If only you could smell it. I have bought a... This is a walnut and rye. That one was for my husband because he'll love it. We're going to have soups quite a lot through the week. And... It'll go lovely with the soup. And we're running low on bread. And this is a five grain. Uh, they were eight pounds for the two, but they're artisan bread and it is a treat. But also the bread will go good with this cheese. It was a little cheese stall. I haven't unwrapped them because they're so lovely wrapped and it'll keep them fresh. But I may show them in meals of the week if we have a cheese supper or something. This one is a paprika smoked cheddar, I believe. And this one is a garlic and herb cheddar, like a softer cheese. Not a cheddar, but a soft cow's cheese. And we have also, I popped into the stationery shop and bought a magnetic notepad to go on the fridge because we're always forgetting things that we need. And then we have a lovely um, eco shop and they sell all sorts of little bits and bobs. I went in for this little nail brush because my children are two and three, so they like to dig with the dinosaur on, hopefully to get them when we're washing the hands, and a spray bottle so I can decant some oil into it for the air fryer, a scrubbing brush for my pots, especially the uh, cast iron pot, and it'll last saves using sponges etc. I'm all about reusing things, and a treat. If you haven't had Tony's Chocoloni, you really should. It is delicious. I don't know when we'll have this, but it's amazing and it's I think it's like welfare good welfare chocolate let's have a look it's uh it must say it's uh, anti-slavery chocolate but it's, it's absolutely delicious I believe it's Dutch but it's amazing there are so many flavors if you see it I recommend you try it and there we go that's all we have for this week and that'll keep us going for our meals. And I've just popped out and got these out of the fridge. These are uh, from the Muckle Brewing Company. These were at the farmer's market as well and they were £12. But there were four. There's another of the stout as well there for my husband. And there we go. That's our weekly shop with a few treats in this week. I don't normally go to the farmer's market but I just thought I would uh, treat us. And the coffee as well. The coffee is only once every few weeks, so it's not too bad. It's about £10. It works out maybe about £15 a month for coffee. Uh, and it's amazing. Um, so there we go. And it was £146.58 for everything. This and all of the fruit and veg together. But fifty-one thirty-eight of it was the extras from the market. And they're more expensive, but they'll last and there's no wastage. And it's a treat including the beers as well, obviously. So the total for our food shop this week was £95.20. And that's shopping local. That's with no supermarket whatsoever. I don't think that's too bad. I'm really pleased with that. Obviously, we have a little milk bill on top of that. But that's brilliant. Supporting the local shops. Everything's well made, local, from the, from the region or organic. There we go. And there we are. That's what I bought this week for our family. It looks like a lot, obviously, because we've got lots and lots of fresh fruit and veg, but it'll all get eaten. The I've got things like pastry in the freezer, so if we've got leftover apples, I'll make apple turnovers. I've got 
um, uh, with the phyllo pastry. I've got shortcrust pastry. I'm going to make a quiche through the week. We're having Chinese style curry with uh, vegetable spring rolls for tea tonight. And tomorrow we're going to have Hasselback potatoes with vegetables and sausages. And we've got that lovely bread as well on the side, which we'll also have soup. I'm going to make a white bean soup this week for lunch, leek and potato soup, possibly a minestrone or an onion soup. I've got lots of onions, I might do that. I do plan our meals, but I see what we feel like as well. I have a rough idea. So we're gonna have curry tonight. Tomorrow we're having potatoes with uh, vegetables and sausages on the side for the children and my husband and then Monday I think we might have burgers because we've got burgers I'll make black bean burgers for me and I might if I make extra black beans we'll have that as soup uh, the next day and because they're dry black beans so I'll soak them overnight before we use them and then I'm going to make gnocchi we're going to have lots and lots of salads with all the, that fresh food um, fresh salad vegetables and we're going to have a jack of potatoes one night. I'm going to do a pasta bake and then I might have a free night there, possibly, yes. So I'll just see how it goes. It is There is a plan, so obviously I can buy the right food, but also I can uh, improvise with what we've got in the fridge. Uh, all else fails, we'll have new potatoes with salad and something a little extra on the side. I've got quinoa and I've got some buckwheat etc in the cupboards. The cupboards are always full of beans and grains so we can make things and I've got lentils as well. I might make a French green lentil soup without the bacon. Um, there's lots of options and obviously we've got things for breakfast there as well. We've got oats and um, but there, there we go. That was what we bought this week for our meals. Um, I hope anybody uh, if you get anything from this at all, it's look what you can get locally. It's amazing. And if I think back to all the different places that I've lived, there's always somewhere nearby that I can go to that I can conveniently just nip to each little shop uh, without going to a supermarket. And I think it's just really important at the moment, especially in the current times. But that's just what we're doing. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing something a little bit different.